Hello crafty friends, I'm Lynn from Studio Gato and this is very new to me. I don't usually do videos like this where I'm talking um, right when I'm recording the video because I'm very bad at doing a voiceover, let alone talking live. So this is a little bit new. <laughs> Uh, give me some grace here, but I wanted to show you the cards I made with the new Country Road release from Spellbinders. I made seven cards, I couldn't stop, I was only asked to make three I think, but I had so many ideas. And I'm going to show you the sets I worked with and just give you um, a quick overview of this fun little release. I received four sets to work with, and it's this one, that's the Country Wheelbarrow, the Rustic Garden, the Garden Builder set, and also this one, which is a seasonal decor, and it's kind of just items you can put in your Rustic Garden or in your wheelbarrow, and I kind of use them separately, which this is a great set for those, uh, those seasonal cards, because you get all of the seasons. <laughs> in one set. So I, I think this is probably my favorite set of the release, which you wouldn't guess because it's it's kind of an add-on, I suppose. But I made two very fun cards with this one. Now let's start with the main sets or what I assume are the main sets. There is actually one set that is missing here and it's one of those road signs um, that kind of says the name of the farm on it, or that's what I suppose it's for. Um, so you should de definitely check that out as well. I will leave the entire le release linked down below in the description if you're interested. But let's focus on these sets that I actually worked with. Now you have the Country wheel Wheelbarrow, which comes in lots of different pieces, but they're very self-explanatory. Um, the wheelbarrow itself is three pieces, so you get the wheelbarrow and three side panels. And then you have a little piece on the front of the wheelbarrow uh, and the wheel. So this is what you add to the wheel to add some dimension to it. And you get something fun like this. And I made this card with it. So I really just wanted to let that wheelbarrow shine. I only added some flowers in there, which are from that uh, garden builder set as well, which I'll show you in a second. But assembling the wheelbarrow was quite easy and you can fill it up with lots of things. There are logs in one of the sets as well, which are perfect to put in that wheelbarrow for a Christmas card, for example. So lots of fun stuff. And all I did was add a white embossed background. So I really love that wheelbarrow. You can make it plenty of different colors. I went for a boring one um, because I wanted to keep it a very simple card and make the flowers shine. Then you also have that second main set um, which creates this white picket fence. Um, well, it's not a picket fence, it's a white fence. And you have the ton or the vet. I don't really know what to call it. You have a water pump, a birdhouse. There are a couple of different things in there. You also have that wheel itself, which I saw someone make a wreath around it, which was so beautiful. I think that would be really cool as well, but I didn't want to do the same thing as someone else. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I made, I really just used the ton here. I cut it down to different sizes, which is very easy to do. And that gives you a little bit more play there. And yeah, I just filled it with flowers. <laughs> there are tons of flowers in this collection as well. And of course I had to use the flowers. Uh, the foil frame is from an older set, as is the sentiment. Um, but I will have videos on all of these cards as well videos explaining the process a little bit more in depth. They won't be up right this second, except for a video of these two cards, because uh, I wanted to talk about creating an embossed background. Um, so that should be up right now on the channel as well. And I will leave that linked below as well. 
So those are the Country Wheelbarrow and the Rustic Garden die sets. I love these. They're so cleverly designed with lots of fun uh, pieces to add details to your images. But what really is the main focal point of these cards, I assume, are the flowers and the greenery, which all come from this set. This is the Garden Builder die set, and you get so many things in here. <laughs> There's just so many fun things, including a cat. And I can't believe I didn't even use the cat on any of these cards because it's so fun. So you have, this is a really fun one because it adds lots of leaves at once and lots of dimension too. So I used that in two of the tons here. I think it's really fun. You can add flowers, but obviously it's not really the point <laughs> of this plant. Then there's a tulip, which I had a lot of fun with. <laughs> this card I created with it. So it's just tons and tons of flu uh, tons and tons of tulips. Um, I added dimension to these as well. I went a little bit crazy <laughs> adding tons of different or tiny little die cuts here, but I love how that turned out. And yeah, just lots of different fun flowers you can use from this set. And I really like the greenery as well because it's a little bit different. You have the longer leaves and then you have this group of leaves, which again is really easy to make a bouquet out of. Um, I really, really love the garden builder set. I just showed you this tulip card set, but I almost forgot about the birdhouses. Um, what I love about Spellbinders die sets is that they usually include a lot of uh, smaller images as well. And you can use those to add to the scene, like you see here. You have the little birdhouse and you have the little flowers here. They just add to the scene. They're not the main point or the focal point of the card but you can make them the main focal point of the card. Just repeat the image and create a background. I love doing that with the smaller dies because you get more use out of your die sets, which is always a good thing. So I will have a video probably up next week, earlier next week, all about making patterns with your die cuts and a couple of different ideas for that. As you can see, this one is made on vellum, which was, not necessarily a design choice, more of a making it easier on me to line up these tulips, but I will talk about that in that video later next week. But I also made these two cards, which are also about making patterns with your smaller dies. And I love these veggies. <laughs> it's a little bit um, different than the flowers you usually get. But as you can see, you can get a lot of fun colors and bright colors in there as well. It doesn't have to be floral. I even made a Halloween card with these. Um, and that's all from the seasonal decor die set. So you get lots and lots of different things here. There's Lucky Clover. These are the logs that I was mentioning that would be perfect to put in that wheelbarrow for Christmas or the star. I really want to make a pattern with the star as well. I'm hoping that I can still squeeze that in before this video goes up so I can at least show it. But yeah, I just used the pumpkins for this one and the veggies, so the tomato, the bell pepper, the peppers, and the carrots. Um, you can make these orange, obviously, but I wanted a little bit of extra pop of color here. Yeah, there's lots of different things in this die set which makes it such a great one for your stash because you can use this for birthdays. There's a really intricate present because you have the box, you have the lid, you have the bow here, and then you also have the bow itself. So this is just a ribbon, I suppose, and this is the bow. There's lots of different things in this set, which makes it great for any collection of dies, I think. So that's it. That is the country road collection from spellbinders it released i think earlier this week i suppose on wednesday um so this video is a little late <laughs> but i hope you still had some um or you still got some inspiration from it and like i said i will have project videos for all these cards up on my channel in the coming week hopefully um <laughs> 
but I really like the cards I made with this release and I think you are going to love this release as well. So all of the products I used for these cards or all of the products from the main release will be linked in the description below. You can get those at Spellbinders in the US and in the UK. They're released on both websites. Uh, Spellbinders is really good at that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this release and I hope you watch the video as well that's up on my channel right now, which is about these two cards because these are so fun and intricate. I love the little flowers there. I hope you like them too. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the cards, if you like the release, leave a comment. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite product of the new Country Road release from Spellbinders. And uh, leave a like if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to see all of my project videos for these cards as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.